I've got a laminating pouch here, or the remnants of one, I've obviously used part of it for something else. If I dip a spoon in here and it gets a little glitter on it because it's static, cat like so. And you need to make sure that you feed it into the laminating machine the correct way. Very gently lay this down over the top and place it seam side in to the laminator. Be very, very careful. Now the trouble is, if you try to do this inside a paper pouch, you're more likely to get the bubbles in it. You really want that glue to melt nicely to give you a nice clear finish. Once it's actually laminated properly, you can cut it down to size. I've cut out my frame out of foam. I've cut down my laminated folder so that it is 14.8 by 10.5, the same size as this. I've chosen a black background because it shows up really well when you're doing a shaker, when you've got sparkly bits. I've got a few different things that I want to put in here. First off, I have some little stars. So the next thing I've got is somewhat weird. I have some synthetic gold flake, but I put it into a pepper or salt grinder. It just means I can get some very delicate bits. And last of all, I have this synthetic snow, which is kind of opalescent and it's great fun. A pinch or two of that. One of the ways that you can do this and line it up a bit more easily is to get some vinyl backing, pop it over there, and then line this up with the edge because it's not easy sometimes to line things up accurately. I've got my designs cut out already, so they've been done as a print and a cut on my Juliet, and they're cut all the way through. What I'm going to do now, before I remove anything whatsoever, I'm going to apply a piece of book covering plastic over the top because I want some of these to be glossy. So I'm going to send this to my machine again. This one that I didn't cover it doesn't look quite so nice in my mind. The vinyl I have got here, which I've used to cut out my sentiment, is a cheap one. It is notoriously evil to cut and to weed. So I set it to cut my Juliet and it's cut it perfectly. <laughs> Whether I can weed it is more down to my skill level than anything else. I'm going to try reverse weeding, not something I've ever done before. But because these letters are so fine, I think that might be the easiest way of doing it without losing of bits. So we shall see. Now I've slit between the different lines of text to try and make this a little bit easier for myself. Whether it will work? is anyone's guess. So let's see what we get when I start to peel this paper off. So as you can see it's in different sections now which hopefully will make the whole process that much easier and I've taken out the holes in the letters already. So in theory if I pick up a corner I'll be able to weed it off. And once I get to that line there, I can trim off this little bit of vinyl because I won't actually need it to be there any longer. And because it's trimmed off, it means I've got less excess vinyl to cope with when I'm weeding the rest. Well, that bit is done perfectly. Phew. Two out of three so far. Yay, I've got the little dot underneath my exclamation mark. And lo and behold, I've got it all there. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Right. Now, my card front, there was a little bit of a problem which I have solved in the design of itself. 
in that my backing was a little bit big compared to the front. The foam layer was a little bit bigger than it needed to be. Because foam tends to squash when it's put together, it got a little bit larger than I wanted. So that's the only problem that I've encountered. Piece of paper over the top. Lots of effect there, lots of sparkle and a bit of fun for Christmas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.